Hi everyone, today we are going to be discussing uh, how to edit buttons and how to uh, make buttons that go to different frames. So this will be um, essential and animation in timeline control. So let's get started and I'm, I'm going to show you Action Ship 3.0 in this tutorial and Action Ship 2.0 in the next tutorial. So let's just do the Action Ship 3.0 version. I'm just going to make my stage black as usual uh, and I'm going to create my button so my button will be uh, skip so it's just going to skip a couple of frames, I'm just going to call it skip and letter spacing make it black ok so make this higher Now, in order to create a button, basically, uh, you do the same thing. You highlight it, click F8, and in the type, you can select button and name it whatever you like. So I'm just going to name it skip also. And now you have a button. Now I'm just going to make it have an overstate so when the mouse is over top of it, it will change color or like do something special. So I'm just going to make the background go red and the text go white so now we have that done uh, don't worry about the down and hit state, so the down is basically when it's clicked the hit state is uh, how much of uh, what do you want uh, the area to be on which the object will change color so basically if what area should the mouse be in for this object to change from the up state to the over state that, that's what the hit state tells uh, Flash to do. So, we have our button. Now, let's just test if our button is working. So, I'm going to press Control Enter. And you can see our button is working uh, flawlessly. So, uh, in Action Trip 2, you could go to Windows. And if you go to Actions, in Action Trip 2, you were able to uh, type in like on, release, uh, go to and pl uh, play, or go to, and s go to and stop at a certain frame. But in Action Script 3, you can see that you cannot do that anymore. So there, there's another way that we're going to deal with this problem. So first of all, we're going to make a new uh, layer and call this layer the Actions layer. And again, the name doesn't matter. And then again, go to Windows and click on the Actions panel. And you don't need to do this. You can just press F9. But because I'm recording and F9 is one of my recorder's uh, uh, shortcuts, it will uh, mess up with my recording. So I'm not going to use the shortcut. So basically you open your actions panel and um, you have to import import all the mouse events. So you go type in import flash dot events dot mouse event and you put a semicolon at the end. Then I'm going to have a comment here and this is going to be uh, my skip button so let's just start the skip button here so how what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach an action listener to this button and what this this action listener or event listener will do is it's gonna listen for when the user does a, a button click so in order for for us to attach uh, an event listener to this uh, object, we need to give it an instance name. I'm going to give us an instance name of skip underscore btn. And then I'm going to go back to the actions panel, the actions timeline, and then uh, select it. And then you'll have your uh, action script here. And then I'm going to have uh, the b button name, so skip underscore btn dot add an event listener to that button then I'm gonna have I'm gonna say that you're gonna listen for the mouse event event of a click and when this when this click happens you're gonna execute the function next or uh, skip to and put a semicolon then and now we're going to make the function skip to. So 
So we're going to make this function, which was going to tell this program to to skip and go to frame 10. So we're going to make a function. Uh, name is going to be skip2 because it's, it has to be the same name, this name and this name, the same name. Um, skip to and we're gonna have it uh, do a mouse event and it's a void function because it's not returning anything and now we have created a uh, function skip to but it's not doing anything so we're gonna say go to and stop on frame 10 uh, okay so now we have this working. Now, if you just test, the script has no errors. Uh, but at the moment, we don't have anything on frame 10. So we're going to take, go to frame 10, and press F6. Um, just I'm going to delete the skip frame, and I'm just going to draw a random, uh, a random design. So, there we go, that, that'll be on frame 10. So on frame 1 you have the button, on frame 10 you just have a random uh, piece of nonsense. So, now that we have both of those set up, we can go over here, uh, and go down to Windows, go to Actions again, and we want the animation to not play, okay, I'll show you, a, there's going to be a problem when we play this animation right now. It's going to play and it's going to keep looping. So if I press control enter, you'll see. So I don't get, I barely get a chance to press the skip button. It, it, it's not working properly, right? So I want to tell the animation to stop on the, f on the f uh, first frame and n not move. So in order for it to do that, I need to go to the windows and back to the actions. And I need to go to the very top and type in this command stop and that will uh, that will stop this animation over here so it will not move any further so if I press control enter now now it will all work so basically this will f skip to the frame with all the squiggles and there you have it it's working and if I test it one more time you can see if I press the skip button it goes to the place with the 10 uh, squiggles and basically, basically that's it. That's how you do uh, buttons. Next tutorial, we're going to be doing the same thing using ActionScript 2.